One of the many modifications we've made to the Kizashi is to improve the aerodynamics. We've done that by lowering the vehicle. As you can see, this is the factory ride height. What we're trying to do is get it much lower. Look at that, two fingers. Let's take a look and see how we did it. As you can see, we've removed the factory suspension, the strut, and the springs. To be able to lower the vehicle, we've installed a coilover setup. That includes a threaded sleeve, an adjuster, and a revised coilover spring. That allows us to adjust the ride height. While most of the time you install a coilover setup to improve the handling, we've done it to improve the aerodynamics. How is the suspension upgrade going to improve the aerodynamics? Step over to Mr. Wizard's laboratory. Lowering the suspension will help you improve the aerodynamics. If you're looking to improve the aerodynamics, one thing that's really important is frontal area. If you want to measure your frontal area, all you have to do is park your car in front of your garage, aim a light at it, and the signature that it makes back on the garage will actually be your frontal area. If we use this as an example of frontal area, by lowering the vehicle, we can see that we've reduced the frontal area greatly. Doing that makes a big difference in aerodynamics. If you want to get real tricky, what you can do is don't mark up your garage, though. If you make grid lines, space them about two inches apart, you can actually measure the difference and see what the percentage change is. Lowering the car even a half inch might be the difference between going 202 miles an hour and 203 miles an hour. For us, that means a difference between going fast and setting a land speed record.